Hey, Congressman Susan Wild joins us right now, a Pennsylvania Democrat, uh, sits on the House Foreign Affairs Committee, one of the instrumental committees that will dig into this and, and look at what happened and how everything imploded so quickly. Congressman, thank you very much for taking the time. What do you want to hear out of the president uh, in just a couple of minutes? Well, thank you so much. Um, I want to hear answers. Uh, I want more. I want to. But most of all, what I want to hear right now is that we are expediting the situation, that we are moving this along, and that we are getting people out of Afghanistan. That's what I want to hear first and foremost. Um, later, I'm going to want to. I want answers to a lot of questions about what has happened. Don't get me wrong. I think pulling out of Afghanistan is long overdue, but there are many, many questions about the execution of this, as we all. Now. Um, obviously, it depends on how the president outlines this. A lot of people are, are just surprised how quickly the government fell. Uh, do you think the president himself was aware that it could happen in a matter of days? There are disputed cables uh, that are coming from the State Department where we don't know whether that ever made its way to, to, to him. Uh, but if it had, do you think he would have slowed this down? In other words, he would have taken another look and said, all right, we're, we have to arrange for, you know, what could be an administrative nightmare just getting these people out. Um, I can't get into the president's head. I would hope that if he knew of this, that he would have taken steps before we would have executed on the plan to withdraw. That's obviously going to be front and center of the questioning um, next week when the House Foreign Affairs Committee has um, hearings on this. But what I want to hear from him right now today when he gives his remarks in a few minutes is what are we doing to get this process through and done and get all of those people out of Afghanistan? A delay of eight hours that we've just heard about is unacceptable. We have bases all over the world. Let's get those people. If, the, if Qatar doesn't have uh, the ability to process anymore, let's get them somewhere else. We've got the ability to do that. Now, let's do it. Let's get all the Americans out. Let's get all of our Afghan allies out. We've heard just countless stories of people who worked so hard along with our military troops. We owe it to them and their families to make sure that they are safe. And whatever we have to do to make that happen, let's do it. I think all hands need to be on deck. I can tell you that, speaking for the Democratic Caucus in Congress, I don't know of a single member who is not actively working on all matters Afghanistan, whether they're on foreign affairs or not. We are all fielding calls, texts, all kinds of communications, trying to help people get out, to get to, get to the right gate at the airport. I want to know that the administration is doing that and, and um, you know, by a force multiplier, what we are doing. Congressman, we're getting reports, and they're not all reputable, so I apologize if we can't really nail these down. Um, the, the countries like Britain and France, uh, Germany, have gone into the so-called green zone and outside that, outside the airport, to, to get their people. We are not, and I guess it's by orders, uh, the, 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 the Army and, and Marine people on the scene are not penetrating that because that's not what their mission is. Do you think that it should be? Do you think that our soldiers have to go up and pass that perimeter to get people into the airport and out to the airport uh, and not leave it at the Taliban's discretion? Well, you know, first of all, those are unconfirmed reports, and thank you for You're saying right. that. I do, I do not want to see any of our troops put in harm's way unnecessarily. Having said that, and whatever we might ultimately decide after the fact, once we know all of the answers about whether this was done properly or not done properly, we have got an absolute obligation to get every American who wants to leave Afghanistan out of there, along with our Afghan allies. And to me, those Afghan allies, the people who worked alongside our troops, I have colleagues who, were, who served in Afghanistan who have told me personally of the tales of their um, interpreters who worked so closely with them. Though, those people might as well be Americans. They're not, but they are absolutely deserving of safe transport to the United States or to some other safe location, because they work so hard in perpetuation of our mission in Afghanistan. So having said that, in answer to your question, I think we have to do whatever it takes. This is not a time to—we have to be cautious, yes. 
But at the same time, we need to make sure that we are working at warp speed to, to get this done. Got it. Congressman, thank you very, very much. Susan Weil of Pennsylvania.